So stemming from all of this, how does melanoma, which is a skin cancer, spread to the brain? Michelle Fiore spent the day finding out. She's here live to explain. Michelle? Stephen Courtney, nobody knows better than Ann Harrington. Her brother was a young guy when melanoma spread to his brain and killed him just six months later. Her message and what doctors are telling us is one and the same. It's not worth the tan. A warning from a woman with a broken heart. Ann Harrington lost her brother Craig at age 42. He um, had a mole removed two years prior to his melanoma diagnosis and he was told it was basal cell and that he had clean margins and he was good to go. Dr. Melanie Fukui has seen similar cases. So once a melanoma arises in your skin, it can invade more deeply into the soft tissues. And when it does, the bloodstream can carry melanoma to any organ. If you have only one tumor that has spread to the brain, sometimes you may be able to have surgery to remove it. With multiple tumors, radiation to the entire brain may be necessary. When possible, go with a targeted approach. Former President Carter underwent his first radiation treatment today. One thing is clear, his odds for surviving this are better than ever. People today are surviving with brain metastases much longer than they ever did when I first started out in medicine. So what are the warning signs? Generally speaking, the warning signs are a change in a mole, a rapid growth in a mole, irregular borders, um, an, an unusual appearance. A melanoma can start really anywhere in the body. I mean, the initial site of the tumor could be in your ear, it can be in your eye, so it can be completely hidden from view. Yeah, and here in Milwaukee, Ann Harrington and a friend started a not-for-profit to raise funds for melanoma research. We have a link on our website, tmj4.com. Stephen Courtney.